Hi, I'm Linda Goldenstein, owner of the Goldenstein Gallery in Uptown Sedona. We bring you this show to celebrate one of the nation's most respected art scenes, Sedona, Arizona. Many of the world's most talented artists are drawn to this magnificent area, and for good reason. Today, we learn of their inspiration and expression. We are proud to show their work at Goldenstein Gallery. Sedona has such gorgeous color, and so does the art scene. It's time to explore local color. We at Goldenstein Gallery have been privileged to work with a number of amazing people, and today we're here with Mary Fisher. Welcome, Mary. Thank you, Linda. It's wonderful to be here. Mary, you, as I said, uh, are an extraordinary person, I feel, and artist. You changed the world when you spoke to the Republican National Convention in 1992 about HIV. I don't know about changing the world, but I do know that it, it, it was in my heart that I needed to change the way people thought about HIV. But we do the President's cause no good if we praise the American family but ignore a virus that destroys it. On today's show, we're surrounded by your work. It's rich, it's textural, it's multimedia. When I think of you as an artist, I think of someone who has mastered many different mediums. We have um, wonderful handmade paper pieces, that paintings. Do we call them paintings? Handmade paper is something that you, you start from pulp and you, and, and you sculpt with pigmented pulp. So for me, it's hard to say it's a painting because it's not really a painting. It's really more like sculpture that's dried and can be, can be flat and can be hung on a wall. And everything that I have is sort of, it, it has that texture feel. It does. I, you know, when I think of your work, I think of it as something very textural, all your different mediums, something soft and inviting, and yet very powerful, too. You do a lot of, of work with your quilts. What does it take to qualify as a quilt? A quilt has to have three layers sewn together. I find your messages on all of your artwork very inspirational and something that I think people really would like to have around them every day. I've, I've used words for my speeches. Okay. I've used photographs that I have printed out on fabric and put them in the quilt. I invite you to touch the quilt. I, I, I love when people want to say, may I touch it? Mm -hmm. I want you to become involved in it. And quilts are, they have, lots of things to say for themselves. I mean, they are something that means community. When you go back to the meaning of, of how you make a quilt and people made quilts together, and to me, it's a combination of almost everything that goes on in my, in my art world. And it's interesting to watch people when they do see the quilts and they do read the messages and they mean different things to different people. We all have that part of our souls that, that, is, that, that wants to get out, wants to be creative, and how do we do it? And for me, it is the quilts and the sculpture and, and anything where I can bring a message. Mary, you're an artist in Sedona. How do you feel about that? I feel incredible about being an artist in Sedona. I feel that this is a community that is so alive with art and artists and people who appreciate art. You, you yourself are amazing in my life. You have come into my life to, to, and, and have helped me uh, express myself in, in so many ways, and I'm really grateful for that. Thank you. Mary, it has been wonderful to talk to you about all the artwork that you do, the different m mediums that you work with, and uh, the different projects that you're involved with. We want to thank you so much for being here today. We love having you in our gallery. Thank you so much for representing me, but more importantly for, for letting my art be my voice. Thank you for joining us. Come visit us at Goldenstein Gallery in Uptown Sedona and explore local color.